Can you share your name, your company, and what level you are? My name is Uriel. I'm a new grad iOS engineer at Slack. Can you talk about what team you're on and what technology or languages you're using? You know, given that I'm an iOS engineer, I primarily work in Swift, and there's also some Bazel for the build systems. I'm on the mobile enterprise team and working on features for the largest Slack customers. What would you say is the most important skill? The most important skill as a new grad would be just, you know, learning from the existing solutions in the code base to problems like, you know, how to create a label, how to create a button, how to connect some two screens. Yeah. As um, these are very common things and these simple things are what, you know, you'll mainly be doing, I guess, at like, you know, the new grad level. Yeah, a company like Slack or Facebook or Google, there are probably fairly well-defined ways to do all these things. If you were working with another junior engineer, what would be one piece of advice you would give them? Take time to build out those connections you know, not just in your team, the other teams, you know, different teams are working on different things and they have uh, access to deeper knowledge in some other areas. I love that. I mean, just don't only rely on your manager or your onboarding buddy. There's so many other smart people at these companies that you can really learn a lot from. What's your name? Where do you work? And what level are you? Uh, my name is Dipika. I work at Qualcomm and I'm a mid-level. What do you work on at Qualcomm and what programming language do you primarily use? Uh, I work on the camera processing chip, so that goes in the phone. Hmm. Um, and mostly I work in C++ and Python. What would you say is the most important skill at that level? Most important skill would probably be efficient log analysis, trying yeah. to root cause where the issue is and pull in the correct people. When you have a bunch of information in a log file, how do you parse it, get information out of it, and then use that to debug or figure out what went wrong? What would you say is like one really important piece of advice? I would probably say keep notes on like anything that you found helpful in like ramp up or any of the issues you're working on, uh, more likely it's going to be useful later on to you. Can you share your name, where you work and what level you are? Yeah, my name is Richard. I work at Meta and I am a senior engineer, IC5. Can you talk about what team you're on? I work on the company's mobile UI platform and we work on different projects to help accelerate mobile development within the company. Yeah. What would you say is the most important skill for a senior engineer E5 level? I would I would recommend really aligning the outcome expectation and risks of a project with the relevant stakeholders and also making sure that the projects you work on are important for both the company but also your own growth and interests. So someone coming in as a senior engineer in big tech, what would be your top piece of advice? I think the first thing is bringing people along with you. A lot of collaborations span across multiple halves and you, you kind of build this recurring relationship with people. Being sure to bring them along and build long-term relationships. Yeah. Someone once told me that you can go fast or you can go far. Really putting importance on treating the people you work with well making sure they feel appreciated, and making sure that you always help people back when they help you. For an entry-level or new grad engineer, the job is more task-oriented. So Uriel talks about following existing patterns in the code base to build out features. As a mid-level, you get to the point where you're responsible not only for writing the code, but also maintaining and debugging the code. So Dipika talks about efficient log analysis and figuring out what is the important part of a log file as the most important skill. A senior engineer delivers a project end to end. So Richard talks about the most important skill being avoiding roadblocks during project execution. I put the full interview with each engineer in the Taro app, and I also included engineers who I interviewed but didn't have time to include in this video. So I'll leave a link for that in the description. Check it out at jointaro.com. Can you tell us your name, where you work, and what level you are? Yeah, my name is Sammy Nguyen. Um, I'm a staff engineer at Gusto. I've been there for about six and a half years at this point. What team are you on and what technologies are you using? Um, I'm on the comms platform team at Gusto. We basically uh, build APIs for teams to send messages to our, cust their, our customers and then also you know, make sure that the messages get shown to the customers, whether in-app, through email, things like that. Primarily use Ruby on Rails on the back end and then on the front end, TypeScript and React. What would you say is the most important skill for someone at your level? Yeah, I think it's been a lot of like trying to level up my teammates and making sure they're you know able to learn and like make sure they're really internalize the feedback and are able to become self-sufficient, very independent. For most people, you can't really build everything yourself. Um, so yeah. it's important to be able to like leverage your teammates, um, you know, the entire engineering org to like push forward on various initiatives. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like at that level, it's really about up leveling the whole team. It's like multiplicative impact rather than just like you know, solo carrying everyone, you have to make sure everyone's yeah. getting better. Someone was coming in as, as a staff engineer at a company like Gusto or another kind of medium large company, what would be one piece of advice you would have for them? I would say try to meet a lot of different people, learn about like the problems. You know, as a new person, you can really only learn that from other people. Yeah. Can you share your name, where you work and what level you are? 
For sure. Um, my name is Kaushik Gopal. I work at Instacart and I work as a senior staff engineer. I wonder if you can talk about what you do at Instacart. Instacart is a grocery technology company. We acquired uh, a startup called Caper, which builds smart carts. The smart carts like run AOSP, so like the Android operating system. And I've built my career around like mobile development. What would you say is the most important skill? It all boils down to impactful work. You know, you might think like, oh, if you get really good at a technology, like that helps for sure. But I think uh, an important aspect of like, you know, being successful at like, you know, the higher or senior levels is one, identifying the opportunities for impact. Second is about obviously executing on that work and landing that impact. Yeah. And the third important piece is measuring the impact, right? I yeah. think all of those three have to come together and that's a very valuable skill. I'd say more so than you being like, you know, like the best Kotlin developer out there. Advice you would have for someone coming in at senior staff or principal engineer? A large part of it is just like learning from other folks. It's about talking to different like stakeholders, right? Like, you know, talk to your product people, talk to your support people, talk to your business folks. Obviously, you will keep talking to the engineering. Like talk to each of them, find out some of the areas that the company as a whole is either like struggling, that's immediately an you know, opportunity for like having that impact. Or even like with your other engineers, if you find like constantly people are like blocked or like, you know, there's a common problem, Again, like, you know, you should have like those alarm signals flashing because those are those opportunities for impact. Yeah. Can you share your name, where you work and what level you are? My name is Pong Ixamba Chai. Uh, I'm a principal engineer at Pinterest. How long have you been at Pinterest? Uh, I've been at Pinterest for uh, almost nine years now. I'm wearing the Pinterest shirt in your honor. We actually worked together at a startup and we joined Pinterest through this acquisition. So it's cool to kind of see you grow through the company. Can you talk about what team are you on and what technologies you're using? Yeah, sure. Uh, so I'm on the ATG team at Pinterest, so it's the advanced technology group. Uh, so the idea of the team is that we work on cutting edge ML to improve the product in one way or the other. As a principal engineer, L8, very senior level, what would you say is the most important skill? I would say the most important skill for a principal engineer is uh, the technical communication. Once you get to a certain level, you can't really do it by yourself. So the ability to, let's say, work through uh, someone else, uh, delegate tasks and so on is pretty important. When you need to work through someone else, having really efficient communication between you know you and them uh, is actually really important. You need to be able to ask like the right, right questions so that you can uh, extract information that you need uh, from them to make the technical guidance. Another principal engineer, what advice would you have to share with them? You have a lot more eyes on you than, than what you think. You're actually like a really big part in setting the right uh, engineering culture. You want people to be you know really technical. You want people to write code, the first thing they would do is look uh, at the principal engineer, uh, right? See what yeah. kind of example that uh, he's, he or she set. Can you share your name, company, and level? Yeah. My name is Andrew Zai. I was at Pinterest six months ago. I was a distinguished engineer. Uh, now I'm starting a company uh, in the AI space. All right. Awesome. How long were you at Pinterest for? Oh, I was at Pinterest for nine years. What team were you on for that duration? But overall, the area that I've always focused on was around deep learning. Uh, starting with like computer vision, really applying computer vision to the different models within the company for our recommendation systems. I spent my entire career at Pinterest essentially working on different parts of that. Do you know how many distinguished engineers were there at Pinterest? There is nothing higher for ICs. There were four uh, distinguished engineers uh, out of 1,200 engineers. What would you say is the most important skill at that level? When I was a distinguished engineer, the skill set that I felt like I had was a really good understanding of both the business because I was at Pinterest for, for nine years. I had a really good understanding of what can impact the business. And then having the experience to, to know that like you can't do this alone. You have to have trust from all the different parts of the company. And you have to have trust in your team, really help them succeed in, in their own careers. If I were to summarize like one skill that really helped, it really was a understanding of both people and business as well as technology. What advice would you have for an engineer to succeed as a distinguished engineer? I think it's the pursuit of impact. You become a distinguished engineer because the business finds you valuable to the point they trust you to lead these large functions. Find out what is the most impactful thing that you can do and then figure out how you can get there. Like who do you need to convince for what? Do you have the team needed to make that change? Yeah. And it's really hard to be able to navigate an organization of that scale, but that's part of the job. Huge thank you to everyone who participated. I wanted to share a few observations which might be helpful to reflect. First, each of the most senior engineers I talked to were at their company for a very long time. 
Kaushik was the L7 senior staff engineer at Instacart, and he had been there for more than eight years. And then the distinguished engineer, L9, Andrew, at Pinterest, he was there for more than nine years. To get to a very senior level, you need experience. You need time in the organization, in the company. Constant job hopping is a recipe to stay stuck at the L5 senior level or below forever. The second observation I had is that each of the last few companies that we heard about, Gusto, Instacart, and Pinterest, they all experienced hyper growth during the time that the employee was there. The number of customers, revenue, and employees all grew by orders of magnitude. And that growth led to not only problems, but also opportunities for engineers. Everyone at the senior levels of engineering is obviously talented and hardworking. But you need to combine that with a deep understanding of the business and earning enough scope to actually land a promotion. Let me know what you thought of the video or if you want to see more content in this format, which is relatively new for me. I put the full interview with every engineer I talk to in the Taro app, jointaro.com. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.